What's up, Boss Fam? It's your boy DJ The Boss coming back at y'all with another video today. Today we got a banger for y'all, man. We're talking about getting to that six-figure mark, making $100,000 in revenue uh, for your business. If this is your first time finding the channel, you found a good channel, man. I don't try to sell you anything, no master classes or courses or anything like that. Uh, it's just us building a community here of like-minded individuals. All of us are business owners. Not, not all of us are cleaners. Some of us are painters. Uh, landscapers and things like that but we know all the same business business principles apply across all of these different industries so uh, we're just trying to build a community to where we can learn from each other I can learn from you guys you guys can learn from me uh, and we can take those things and uh, and grow together and, and help it build big businesses which is the, what the goal is here on this channel um, but yeah with that being said man like this video hit that thumbs up button for your boy subscribe to the channel i know a lot of you guys who watch the videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel so just go ahead and do your boy that favor subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of helpful videos a lot of value coming so stay tuned all that and more right after this Loving how you boss, babe. It's for all my dreamers and my doers and all the entrepreneurs. Just believe in what you're doing and pursuing love. It's for all my boss, babe. Go do your boss, babe. All right, what's up, boss fams? We're back. And uh, yeah, today we got a lot of value in this video. Um, you yeah, know, we're getting, getting to that, that six figure mark. Before we get into that, man, uh, I want to try to set a goal for this video. I want us to get to 20 likes. So uh, if you're watching this video and you don't see the the like button at 20 likes yet go ahead and tap that for your boy help us reach our goals uh and subscribe to the channel again if you're not subscribed to the channel and help me out we're trying to build that subscriber base and get us a nice big community to work with the people to, to learn from but uh if you can't tell i am here at the new uh the new office space which is also the nine media studio as well i am on the nine media podcast set uh, which is probably where I'm going to do quite a few of these videos from, to be honest, just because uh, taking apart the set and changing the camera. You know, we got a couple cameras, but one of them would still have to be used for me to shoot uh, these videos for you guys. So, um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys like the setup. Hit the comments. Let me know if we should go back to talking head style, green, stock, green screen, or, you know, you guys would rather see the office in the background or some equipment or whatever you want it to look like. Let me know. But uh, if it does not matter because the content is going to be pretty much the same, uh, then this is probably how it's going to look. I know you guys see the... Oh, you can't actually see it. It's too hot. But don't worry. Nine Media logo is up there. You, if you check out the Nine Media podcast and follow us on YouTube at Nine Media Creative, then, uh, then you'll be able to see the full set and how we get down. But, um, but yeah, it's been, it's been dope being in the office. We've been here for a couple of weeks now. Uh, things have been great. We got some signage up out front finally, and uh, you know people can now see us on a big main street, which does wonders for our you know name recognition and, and credibility and credibility in this area. Uh, so now when we mention our business, people are like, oh yeah, that place over on uh, Muckle Teal Speedway, and so it it just gives us something to point to and and you know makes us you know gives us a little bit more of that uh, attention that, that brand awareness. So it's been great. I love being here. I love having all of my my gear at you know right at my fingertips and uh you know things aren't so spread out i have everything for administrative things in one spot and and all the equipment is here and it's you know a place where my employees can come and uh and you know feel comfortable my bad you know also we have this automatic heat thing so the heat kicks on when it gets to a certain temperature so the heat just kicked on i don't know if it's killing the audio zach you want to help me out and see if we can uh Shut the the air off real quick. Thank you, broski. Appreciate it. So that should turn off here in a second. There we go. There we go. Because we got enough noise to battle being here. If you guys don't know, we're right across the street from the uh, the Boeing airfield. Uh, Boeing's a big, huge airplane manufacturer. Uh, I think they do probably 200, a little over 200 billion a year. Big, huge company. Uh, and they're you know, basis right here. I think they're going to be moving out of here pretty soon. So that'd be something that we might get into to see how that's going to affect the economy in this area. Cause that's thousands of jobs that are going to be moving out of this, this area. And it's Boeing's been propping up this area for quite some time, uh, you know, economically, but anyway, I digress a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys don't know me, I own a commercial cleaning company. That's what this place is. It's my commercial, commercial cleaning, uh, facility. Uh, we have all our, you know, 
this is where we where, where I run my business from. It's our home base, and it's been great being in a facility. We had an old facility, then COVID hit. We had a bunch of drama with the old facility manager, and so we were without a facility for about a year. Now it's just it just feels great to finally be back in one. Every time I come in here, I'm just like, oh, it feels so much better. It feels much more like real business, which doesn't mean you're not a real business if you don't have an office space. It just, for me, it makes me feel good to, you know, to be able to go somewhere and have somewhere to, to work and to focus. And I can, you know, leave it at work. And when I go home, I'm actually at home instead of, uh, you know, jumping back into, you know, work all night and taking time away from my family and my kids and things like that. So, uh, but anyway, so how do we approach getting to that elusive a hundred thousand dollars in revenue um it when i first started this business uh, i just wanted to be able to pay my bills i didn't really care if i became a millionaire or uh, if i you know made a hundred thousand dollars i just wanted to make enough to to pay my bills i, I was homeless at the time I, I i had nowhere to live i would have to go in and you know and take my kids to whatever female i was dating at the time's parents house to to have a place to be able to even hang out with my kids when I first started this company so I started from a very very low place uh so the six figure mark wasn't even realistic to me it, it it didn't seem like something that was attainable something that I could do and I knew I had potential in myself to do something I just and at the time I didn't know what it was and I definitely didn't know that it would be business uh even though I, I knew that I liked business I just didn't know at the time fully that it was going to be my way out um but I, I didn't start out with a goal of getting to $100,000. I, I started out with a goal of just surviving. And so I was you know, pretty much willing to take any and every job that, that came to me. You know, it didn't matter how much it paid because I needed money in the door. And, and for the most part, that, that's the right thing to do if you're just starting out. If you're just starting out and you're hungry and you need money now, you know, Take everything, do do it all, get some money in your pocket. And you know, once you can breathe a little bit, you can kind of focus on where you want that money to come from. So you're not just doing a bunch of things that you really don't want to be doing. That's a, that's a you know slippery slope and an easy way to, to some unhappiness. Uh, but really quickly after, uh, you know, going after getting some traction, doing some small jobs, uh, you know, I, I was able to breathe or at least, you know, get some meals uh, and I was able to kind of focus on what I really want and that was recurring revenue so um, if you don't know much about my business if, you, if it's your first video then uh, in my business we do strictly commercial cleaning so large buildings uh, you know huge you know gyms you know huge office buildings aerospace facilities so big big buildings lots of square footage you know and we do relatively frequent service uh, most of the time three four five you know, all the way up to seven day, seven day a week clients. Um, that, but that's now. And so, but starting out, you know, as, as I started to get an idea of what, what this business was going to look like, I, I knew that recurring revenue is what we wanted to chase. We needed to be able to chase clients that were going to not just pay us to come in and clean one time, but to be able to pay us every single month on a recurring basis so that we could have some type of predictability in our revenue uh, we can start to you know make budgets, uh, you know keep pe you know know that we're going to be able to keep people on schedule, and so uh, it it led me to where I needed to go and what I needed to think about and how I wanted to run my business, and so now because of that I I only I only do you know contracted service, uh, you know for six or twelve months at a time, uh, so that I know that whenever I lock in that client there's a specific amount of monthly revenue that I can add to add to my revenue. Uh, and so once you start uh, getting clients and especially in commercial, I can't speak to residential too, too much because I haven't dabbled in it enough to really say, uh, you know, to, to really give any any actual knowledge of, you know, speak from any experience in that in, in that area. But on the commercial side, you can really quickly start to see how those dollar amounts add up really, really quickly, especially when you get into routine multi time multi day a week cleaning uh, you know those numbers get pretty high pretty quickly and uh you know it's not 
you know, it's not abnormal for a cleaning company to, to do six figures their first year. It's very, very, very possible. And the reason for that is because of, you know, contracted routine cleaning accounts, you know, commercial accounts uh, where you're where you're in there multiple times a week and, you know, you're in there for several hours. Uh, you know, if you can do that, then those those types of accounts are what's going to get you to six figures quickly. Uh, so let's say for an example, just to make this real for you guys. Uh, six figures, $100,000, that's $8,000 a month. I'm rough estimate, but I think I'm pretty close. $8,000 a month. You got a calculator, Zach? 100,000 divided by 12. I just want to know. I'm curious as to how close I am to. Eight, thirty-three, three, three, and a third, and all the rest of the threes repeating forever. Yeah, yeah. Basically, eight thousand three hundred thirty-three bucks a month is a hundred thousand dollars a year. So, six-figure business at eighty-three hundred dollars a month. That's. It sounds like a lot of money if you are. If you if you haven't if you if you've never seen that amount of money before it, it sounds like a lot of money, but in terms of commercial accounts, it's not that many accounts. I mean that that can be as little as two accounts, or you know, uh, or as as many as twenty accounts. So it's it's going to be as hard as you make it to get to get to that eighty three hundred dollars a month. So if a hundred figures a year is your goal, then uh, you know it's up to you what size of accounts you're going to go for and that's going to affect how quickly you're going to you're going to get there so i had to kind of fumble a little bit because there's a plane landing i told you we're across the street from boeing so we'll get a lot of that in these in these videos but but uh but yeah that's how you want to that's how you want to approach it that's how you want to think about it you know how many clients at whatever size of clients you're going to need to get to that eighty three hundred dollars are you going to get two four thousand one hundred and fifty dollar clients a month and you know you'll be at your eight thousand dollars a month for your six figures or are you gonna you know get four two thousand dollar a month accounts you know like that's that's not that many accounts it's four accounts if you can get four accounts to pay you two thousand dollars boom you're at six figures you're a six figure business uh it's you know and, and i'm making it i'm i'm oversimplifying it obviously but uh but at the same time, I'm really not, you know, like, uh, like, you know, sometimes I kind of sit around and wonder how my numbers get so large. But yeah, that's, but that's, that's really it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta think about it. You have to set your prices to be able to pay your employees and for you to have materials and for you to still have a profit. Uh, if you're, so if you're pricing correctly, uh, let's say, you know, you, seven day a week clients seven i love seven day a week clients because they're a lot a lot of revenue uh they're not always the most prof profitable because you kind of have to you know discount the more the more someone the more you're doing for someone the more you're going to kind of have to you know give them a little bit of break the more work they're they're buying from you so uh you're not going to be as profitable all the time at you know, on a seven day a week client as you are on a once a week client you you know you can usually make larger margins on you know that one time a week client but since you know the other client is going to be with you seven days a week you give them a little bit more of a break uh, but with that said uh seven day a week client like say at least three three hours you know two employees at three hours you're gonna have to charge them around four to five thousand dollars a month to make any type of profit so uh you know seven day a week two seven day a week clients and boom that's it. You're you're a six figure business. I mean, clearly that's a very oversimplification because now you're you it puts you right into you know management. There's no way you're gonna be working that account yourself seven nights a week. So you have to hire some people to, to you know to to help out at least part time. Um, you're, you're gonna have to have a system systems in place and things like that. Uh, you have to have you know some type of system for when things go bad when shit hits the fan someone calls out or you know employees are not what you thought they were going to be or they just don't show up you have to have things in place for those type of accounts because those people are paying you to be there every night so you have no excuse to kind of not be there 
every night. So, yes, it's a, it's slightly an oversimplification, but but getting there is there's it's not extremely hard. It's not an unattainable thing to do, and uh, I know for a fact that if I can do it, then you know I don't I don't I mean I I, I know I'm relatively smart. You know, I, you know I'm somewhat outgoing, but I don't feel like I am better than anybody next to me and any other person who thinks that they can do this business. Uh, I feel like if I can do it, then everybody else has the ability to do it. Um, and I don't think I've done it well. I've, you know, in, in the beginning of starting this company, I didn't believe in business as much as I do now. And so I didn't put as much effort into it in the beginning. And so if, if this could be any inspiration to you that, you know, it, it works and you, you can be past me, you know, in, in any amount of time, it just takes, you know, that effort. Uh, you know, once you start putting the responsibility on yourself and putting that accountability on yourself, uh, then things start to change rather quickly for you. You start to move quickly. You start to do things a little with a little bit more purpose. Uh, and that's what I, that's what I want for everybody on this channel is to, is to move with some purpose. Uh, Cause if this is what you want to do, it works. You really just have to put forth the effort. Um, you know, six figures is not, you know, it's not hard to get to. I mean, it's, there, there's some work involved, but it's not difficult at all. I mean, we are cleaning things that we learn to do that when we're children, we learn how to do this when we're children, most of us, uh, and, you know, everything else is just talking to people, but, you know, two, two seven day a week clients for $2,000, $2,000 a month client, which can be anywhere from two to three times a week and you know, depending on the facility size but um but yeah it's not it's not it's not hard at all man uh, doesn't matter does it not matter i really don't know if it matters not no nothing matters more than you just getting started man i hope you guys got some value from this video don't forget to like this video turn that like button blue for your boy and subscribe to the channel I know a lot of you guys watch the videos and don't subscribe to the channel, but it would mean the world to me if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel for me. Uh, that's it, man. I love y'all. Keep that boss mentality. Peace.